Hi everyone, welcome to One Minute Space, your one minute journey into the space. I'm your science communicator, Star. And I'm space law attorney, Yongshin An, from Hanhua Aerospace. Today's topic brings together technology, markets, and national strategy all in one conversation. Exactly, we will explore the global state of reusable launch vehicle and Korea's roadmap for its next generation space program. Reusable launch vehicles are making headlines these days. Right. What does the market size look like? As of 2025, it's around $4.77 billion and it's projected to reach about $10.56 billion by 2032 with a 12% of annual growth rate driven by lower launch cost and expanding small satellite demand. The US is clearly leading the pack. SpaceX had a major moment recently, didn't it? Definitely. In October 2024, Starship's fifth test recovered the first stage with very advanced technology and Falcon 9 first stage boosters have now been reused close to 400 times, cutting costs by more than 30%. And Blue Origin is entering the race with New Glenn. We are witnessing not just technological breakthroughs, but a transformation in space economics. Right. Europe is responding with the Themis project and the lower-cost Prometheus engine, while ISRO in India succeeded in 2017 and is now preparing for land landing tests. China is in the game too. Land space is testing reusability with its Juche rocket and completed several landings by 2024. Amid all this, Korea is making its move in February 25. CASA announced a plan to develop a reusable tech by 2035. And it includes a three-year Korean SpaceX initiative focused on private sector methane engine development. Right? Exactly. This aligns with the global push to reduce costs and increase space access. So, reusable launch vehicles are not just a technological shift. They are now central to national competitiveness. That's right. South Korea is laying the foundation to become a true spacefaring nation. Today's discussion really highlighted how global technological trends and national policy are now moving in sync, and reusable launch vehicles are at the center of it. Let's keep watching South Korea's journey unfold. See you next time for another one minute dive into the space, right here on One Minute Space. That's it from your science communicator, Star. And from your space law attorney, Yang Shin An of Hanhua Aerospace. Thank you.